Hey everybody, it's Dr. Josh Levitt here. Today we are going to talk about the number one and far and away most commonly prescribed prescription medication in the United States. Anybody know what that prescription is? It is levothyroxine. It's called Synthroid, uh, is the trade name for the medication. It's a synthetic version of a hormone called T4, which is a natural thyroid hormone produced by the thyroid gland. And this drug is used in the treatment of a very, very common problem called hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is a condition where the thyroid gland right here in the neck uh, starts to lose its its ability to produce thyroid hormone, and this can happen for a number of different reasons. Uh, and these people very often wind up on a prescription medication for life, and this is the most common prescription in the United States. One thing that I find a little bit upsetting in so, so many patients who have this condition, many of whom have had it for many years and have been taking drugs like Synthroid or Levothyroxine for decades, is that they often don't fully understand what their laboratory tests mean, how to interpret them, and really how this whole process works. And I'm gonna break it down for you just the same way I break it down for them. For anybody out there who has hypothyroidism or knows or cares about somebody who has hypothyroidism, just a brief primer on how to, how to understand how laboratory tests work and why this all makes sense. So here's how it goes. The thyroid gland is in the neck. It's right here, a butterfly-shaped organ right here, and it produces thyroid hormone. For our purposes, thyroid hormone is T4 and T3. So that's what the thyroid gland makes. That stuff comes out of the thyroid gland, circulates around in your bloodstream, and does what it does. It makes you feel good, it gives you energy, it controls your metabolism, has to do with temperature, regulation, all sorts of good stuff. You need thyroid hormone, and it's produced right here in your neck by your thyroid gland. It also circulates up into the area of your brain right next to this gland you've heard of called the pituitary gland, which is deep in the center of your brain, back deep behind your eyes. And the pituitary gland takes a reading. It takes a, a, a measure of how much thyroid hormone your thyroid gland is producing. And then it correspondingly produces a substance called thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH. So what happens is the thyroid gland produces thyroid hormone, the pituitary gland then senses the amount of thyroid hormone that's in circulation, and it produces thyroid stimulating hormone, which of course stimulates the thyroid gland. So what happens when a person's thyroid gland is tiring out or wearing out, the thyroid hormone levels will decrease. They will go down. We'll see diminished levels of thyroid hormone. The pituitary gland will pick up on that. It'll notice that there's not enough thyroid hormone there, so it will correspondingly produce more or higher levels of TSH so as to stimulate that sluggish thyroid gland. It's sort of like, uh, like a jockey whipping a horse or something, right? You know, come on, thyroid gland, here's some thyroid-stimulating hormone so that you can produce more of your T4 and T3. And this is the reason why when a person has hypothyroidism, low functioning thyroid that's not making enough T4 and T3, that the TSH goes up. So when the thyroid gland is under functioning, the pituitary gland is trying to compensate for that by producing increased levels of TSH. So when your thyroid is down, your TSH is up. And that's the brief primer on how thyroid lab tests work. And it's really important, I think, for people who have this condition to understand what's really going on. When we add synthetic thyroid hormone or natural thyroid hormone into a person's medication, uh, what will happen is the pituitary gland will pick that up and that high TSH will come back down. And that's a, that's a treatment goal is to reduce the TSH to normalize thyroid function that way. So I hope you understand now how your thyroid and your pituitary gland interrelate. And I hope that helps you. So take good care.